Hello and welcome to this video. This is a different style I might try after events and see what you guys think. And if we get enough likes, then I'll do more in the future. Unfortunately for work and personal reasons, I was unable to record footage of the ending of this event and it left it too late to basically do it properly. So we're gonna be just looking at screenshots this time around. I started this event with only five days and 13 hours remaining, just with how things worked out. But let's see what I was able to get in the end. I already had a lot of runes and needed to get nine to complete the whole set. And if anyone doesn't know, as a little tip to you, even if you start a new rune event and there's only three to get, it would still take you between 220 and 300 collections to get all of them. It's just how it works, so the more runes you need to collect, you'll find you'll be getting them a lot sooner than others, but you'll still need to hit the same high amount, as I mentioned before, to collect all of them. With the time I had, I was only able to get 148 collections, which is fairly low for me, but with the time I had, it wasn't too bad either, and I was able to get four runes, which is still quite nice. I got the Rune of Persistence, Rune of Courage, Rune of Fortification, and finally the Rune of Speed. Plus, I didn't pay for this event, and with the limited time I was still able to get 4 runes, so it goes to show that if you don't have a lot of time, but have enough runes to get, you can still get a fair amount without buying any pass. And this is probably now how I'm going to stay from now on, at least for with rune events. Not paying for the pass didn't hurt my progress at all, and all the benefits of paying for them just aren't enough to make it worth my while, which I'm sure is the same for a lot of players. Let me know down in the comments how many runes you got and roughly at what constellations. It'd be great to see how many runes you got and at what constellations they were. I did do a video on what runes I did get back in October 2020, which was a great breakdown of what each rune would do for each fighter and which one's the best one to use. If you want to check that out, I'll leave a little link down below or above for you now. Unfortunately, I didn't get all the new runes this time, but the next time a rune event is coming out, I am planning on spending more time in getting all the runes so you guys can have a better understanding of what these runes would actually do if you did miss out and if they're even worth trying to go for for the next time it comes about. What I will do this time though is show you what I have done with the runes I did earn and these will be on the best people they can with the best stats that the runes can actually be as well, so hopefully this will give you some insight on what they can do. Firstly, the Rune of Persistence is on my Annihilator, and this allows them to receive a 15% of max health of the most recent enemy killed, and that will refresh as soon as the next person dies as well. This makes them extremely hard to kill, and how consistent the rune works is going to be great for any tank. Secondly, the Rune of Courage is on my Darkula, and this works once in a while giving the Rune Wearer and an ally with the least health a shield with 15,000 durability. It can also stun the enemy, whoever attacks the shield wearer, making them even harder to kill. And especially on important mages like Darkula, it's going to be great keeping them alive for that little bit longer to use their abilities. The third rune I got, which is on my Paladin, and that's the Rune of Fortification. This will allow them to restore 110,000 health over 4 seconds when the current target is killed. Considering the Paladin already heals themselves and gets more damage when someone on your team falls below 25% health, makes them even harder to kill, with the rune added on as well, and plus they get extra damage from their passive, making this rune actually activate, so it's going to be great as a partnership with them or any real high damage tank. And lastly, the Rune of Speed, which is on my Annihilator again. They're one of my best tanks, so I like the combination of the Rune of Persistence and the Rune of Speed working together, and what this speed does is decrease my artifact's cooldown by 7 seconds, which is a crazy amount. In short terms, if the rune wasn't on the artifact, and the rune was to activate 4 times over 68 seconds, so just over a minute, but with the rune it can now nearly activate 7 times within the same amount of time, so that's some crazy extra damage we're going to be able to get just because of the rune being added on. I will say this rune wasn't as good on other artifacts that I have, but at least with the Icy Crown it can really make a big difference. I really hope this has been a great video for you to watch, for enough for a subscribe and maybe even a like, and I look forward to that next rune event that I could do for you. And why not check out my top 6 ancient sets if you're looking to make the ultimate team. Anyways, have an awesome day and I'll hopefully see you in the next one.